With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Now, listen, when you remember your New Year's goals that you promised yourself that you would stick to, you remember those, right? HelloFresh is here to help you eat better by delivering fresh ingredients and easy recipes right to your door, taking the hassle out. Of dinner time. Looking for an easy way to eat well and save money? Cut back on expensive takeout delivery and get started with HelloFresh. You'll love how fast, easy, and affordable it is to whip up a restaurant quality meal right in your own kitchen. My family loves HelloFresh. We cook it for dinner typically Monday through Friday. We get it delivered on Sunday so I don't have to do any meal prepping. I'm already busy. I have four kids. I'm running a business. I don't need to be using my creativity for mealtime. I let HelloFresh do it, and they do it well. Go to HelloFresh.com slash TBTB65 and use code TBTB65 for 65% off plus free shipping. Again, that's go to HelloFresh.com slash TBTB65 and use code TBTB65 for 65% off plus free shipping. You guys, this is a special episode of The Bold and the Beautiful. We will be sharing with you all some of our favorite moments from the podcast. And before we jump into it, I want you to know this episode is sponsored by HelloFresh, Masterclass, Black Tux, Trail Mix Games, and Care Of. We'll tell you more about the rest of our sponsors later on in the podcast. So, first question from Yolanda Murray. What's up, Yolanda? She What's said, happening? how did you guys come up with TBTV? Actually, it was a view. Wait, what you mean? The name or like doing this together? Tell them the origin story because you are. Okay, got it. The origin story of doing this. So I. You the Wolverine is. I was, <laughs> she was over the course of quarantine, I got hip to all dating shows that I think we all have. We did. There was Love is Blind. Mm-hmm. Love in the Pods. We got Love in the Pods. We did 90 Day Fiance for a little we while, did. which is crazy. Mm-hmm. And then we got hooked on. We was even watching Love After Lockup for a little bit. Yeah, all the shows. All we the like dating. Love show. Yeah. Yes, you heard what she said. People yeah. like coming over from come home from prison. Yes. <laughs> girl was cheating on the boyfriend in prison. Like I'm going to. We going back to. <laughs> it was like fascinating. It was a whole. Me and Melissa were watching everything. Everything, and so I started watching um, Married at First Sight season whatever it was, the one with Deanna and Greg and them, and was like, this has been on for like nine seasons. Oh my god, how come I never do? And was like addicted, loved it. We did a few episodes with Iris, or a few chat was one. One episode with Iris, one episode <laughs> with Deanna and Greg. That was it, right? Keith. Oh, we did do an episode with Keith yeah. as well. And I was like, you know what would be fun? Because I don't feel like I do. I mean myself personally, I do enough fun content. Mm-hmm. Everything is like, you know, I love a good Your thing. marriage is on the yeah, road. Like, <laughs> How do you love it anymore? I do love a deep conversation. <laughs> yeah, but you do. I do want to like make fun, make real Hold on, fun. let's pause and let me tell you how much Melissa loves deep conversation. There's this game called We're Not Really Strangers. It's a great game. Mm-hmm. If y'all have not heard of it, it we is like, the podcast. why don't you have a good relationship with your father? Correct. And Melissa will be having dinner and she'll be like, Y'all want to play this game? Girl, don't nobody want to cry right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play taboo, regular game. We were working on that um, dating show and I was talking about how certain conversations, just how I operate with like when I meet people, they be deep. And so I was thinking about the first conversation I had with Tony Baker. Someone knew Tony Baker before tour, didn't really know Tony Baker before tour. And so when Kev was on stage, he's closing down. We're kind of getting ready to like get ready, get the merch table ready. And I was like, tell me about yourself, Tony. Like, what's your story? Chad, I learned about his daddy, mm-hmm. his mom. Tony, that's a good mom. Chad, by the end, I was like, I got it. I know who you are as a person. Like, Why'd I you get divorced? Those. Yes, literally. I found that out then. <laughs> right at the end of the show. Come on, okay. Come here, sit down. Give me the largest. I need to talk to you. Yeah, I need to talk to you. I need to understand who you are as an individual. Uh, Learn everything. So anyway, we got finished that. Angel had just, uh, this must have been after Here's the Thing. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, it it must have been after after Here's the Thing. And the new season was starting. I was like, you know what would be fun? For two couples to like review this show and offer their perspective as being married, yeah. talk about these folks, you know, newly getting married, working through those kinks, because we've been in it for a while. We know a little kinks. bit of something, <laughs> and uh, that's how it was, that's how it blossomed. And Melissa, and, and it was so funny because Marcus was so honored. I was like, Melissa just texted me and wanted to see if I wanted to, if we wanted to review Married at First Sight. I, I heard like, I. I was like. 
I said, and so I was like, no, let me see if she she wants you too. And she was like, yeah, the the couple. And Marcus was like, she wants me too. <laughs> I was like, no, it was like a back and forth. Like, no, no, she said that because she thinks that you want me on there. Yeah. She, she didn't say and that Marcus. Was the <laughs> you and Marcus be the same. I was like, she don't want me there. She was like, oh, she must want him. Come, yeah, that's yeah, him too. Yeah, I want that. <laughs> oh, but you know why because I'm often the add on for Kevin I always anytime I do anything I always make a point of being like if it's one of Kev's friends and it's a guy is your wife available can she come as well mm -hmm. if it's a woman is your husband available can he I know because I'm often the other mm -hmm. so I make a point to like know everybody I was and, always the other up until that point other than black love yeah. have we done that yet what you mean yeah we did black love yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you mean yes, yeah, the season, a, the, the no, current on a season. season. I'm saying, had we already recorded. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We hadn't done this. Uh, we was uh, like, uh, have we done it? So that is the origin story of TBTB, and then one of the viewers gave us the name, and we were like, yeah. yes, because it was the tanks and the angst for yes, two seconds. That was. <laughs> that was also given by Melissa. <laughs> I love it. Oh if we weren't God. in COVID, I, well, two things. COVID probably brought us together more. Yeah, absolutely. because because y'all didn't mess with us for Friday. Oh, let's just have it all out to his uh, birthday party. Let's have it all out. How are we we're supposed to mess with y'all? Listen, he's talking about my mama. <laughs> <laughs> we used to see Angel at every. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, Della, we would see Angel at every party in LA of black people who had kids. That's, we we did. That's a fact. Every a fact. party, we were yeah. like, well, Angel know everybody. The angel let me know the day of the party. I'm like, I got stuff I'm trying to do. But well, half the time, Carol be telling me the day before, and I'd be like, they do. oh, okay, I, I'll roll up. That's one thing I missed this year. They didn't get to have their party. I know. Because that was black. That had been a couple of times. It was so fun. Oh, they had the best. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But, um,. So I don't was, remember how we started hanging out because when we started Kevin on Stage Tuesday at the old office, we started having Angel on more. Yeah, he was, right? he and me was like, I would love to have you a part. I was like, okay. See, that was me reaching out. You talking about we didn't mess with y'all. I reached out to you, Angel. Because, no, 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 no. I, I first did the reach out. I well, you out first to, reached out. To your wife. She was on my oh, show that's true. first. That's what, true. Mommy Confession? Mommy yes. Confessions. That was not before you. I added that. Did. Did. I added that to my PR kit. But no, then we did that. Yes, podcast? it was. You may have seen me. On no, that's the how we got asked to do the oh. podcast. Mm, that's because real. you didn't even have the studio yet. Because we did the that's love real. hour in your house. That's real. Like when we were first, they were like our first guests when we relaunched. The very first. How did guest. you find out about Marcus and Angel? No, I worked. I did a thing at All Death. No, no. Oh, she found it. It was the love hour was the return. Yes, yes. So how did you find out about Liz then? No, I did the the show up thing, and somehow when you guys met, show right, up for the yourself? show up for yourself video. Okay. Somehow okay. when you guys inter met, maybe it was at EDD. Yeah. Your sister ADD. ADD your Angel's sister watched the video, encouraged her to run for public office. That's my the sister watched the video. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yes, and that's why she ran for it. To and then us. Angel told the you, really and then the you told me, and that was my first introduction to Angel, and shortly thereafter whatever the time period is i don't remember i did mommy confessions boom but that was probably you don't do, <laughs> you don't do the two years ago because it was right after i quit <laughs> yep yep two years ago you did mommy confessions it was right i think i did it it was in october i remember that's yeah. a full two years ago then now. I that's what i'm about, saying i remember talking about you quitting on the phone. yeah exactly it's terrifying this is when you quit for real for real yes for real, for real. i had just like for oh real. you quit in october because you went to italy exactly in italy so in europe um <laughs> <laughs> I think that you are going to rise to the occasion more than what you're saying right now because be all over. because your not kids right, if they come up. home uh confused about something or something not going right you going you won't be yeah. like dear <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Peter yeah, yeah. what's her name Mrs. P. Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna do all that, but I'm gonna be like, I will be the one to organize <laughs> this. Send me all the information needed. This and the other three events hosting this winter. Thank you. <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't gonna be me. Mark is to make sure my kids mm, are taken care of. Daily. Not all the kids. Angel was up there daily. These are just the tanks and children. It's all my responsibility. 
I just be wanting them to have a good experience. And sometimes other parents be whack, and I be oh, like, nah. Me, <laughs> whack. Uh, and not me, but I'll be pissed off. I'll be like, ah! Angel gonna come off the tour just to be like, all right, PTA meetings, baby, I'm here. <laughs> I am You're here. Setting up. What y'all uh, talking about? What's that called? Scavenger hunt. Yeah, I go to a couple of them, and uh, are you? It, it was either. Marcus's dad or Angel's husband? Yeah, uh -huh. that's me. Them kids, everybody. Your name is Marcus, and they don't even know they call yeah. you Marcus's dad. Yeah, yeah. Huh. What's your husband's name? It's the same as my dad. So you know what it what turns into? Me? The kids make friends. Mm -hmm. And then them friends have birthday parties. Yep. And guess who got to go to these birthday parties? There you go. It was me, but yeah, yeah they was it me. Yeah. Why can't they go to birthday parties? Oh, they can go. They can go. They can Uber there. <laughs> no. Because now I got to sit and talk to some. I don't. And Yo, Marcus, Marcus, and Marcus like be making it known that he don't want to talk to them. They can feel the energy. I'd be like, and that is mission accomplished. Marcus, if, I didn't have, if I could hire their kids without having to go, it's like the Man. only reason I go to the other stuff is so my son has kids to come to his stuff. If, that's they, that's, if he didn't care about parties, I'd be like, forget y'all. If the look on my face, if, if the look on my face makes you feel like he don't want to talk, that was what I was trying to do. <laughs> That is Marcus. The intended result. Yeah, okay. Kev, and you know, Kev just... Mm. But see, Kev looks what? like he's intentionally looking at something. Marcus nah. is radiating. I, will I hate everyone Make eye here. contact. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's... turn around. Keep going. <laughs> turn around? You next. You next. You're next. What's Man, your name? Ma oh, what's your name? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Talk to these fools about what the... Sports the kids are in and traffic in the morning. Shut up. Nobody That's kid. how I be at the soccer yeah. practice. All the parents get out and stand by the gate and talk. I be like, blech. Best thing I could have did was start uh, coaching my son's track team. Keep me from talking to the parents. <laughs> <laughs> get out here and talk to y'all's kids. Why is my son running? Because he don't listen. <laughs> Just like my son. He out there running with him. They talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> Worse. Marcus is hilarious. Me, I like Angel's, coach. Or, Angel's, or, Angel's organizing the game. He's like, this ain't your kid's party. No, listen, I did not do that much on the track team. I assisted you in coaching, and that is it. I let Ina do all that mess. Who I, asked you to assist in coaching? You needed it. <laughs> See? Because you were showing up late. I would get yeah, there before you. Work. Right. So that's why I assisted you because I knew you were coming and the kids would just be standing around. They was all about it. You see all of us out of the track trying to run with these kids. <laughs> be stretching. Oh, tell them about the boy. Tell them about I know this is so off topic, but this is such a funny story. Y'all. <laughs> so, you try to leave names out of it. <laughs> So a lot of times, it's, I don't know if you can coach any teams. But, I did. I, I coached yeah. some basketball. So a lot of times, it's just the parents wanting to get the kids off their shoulders for the day. Yes. Mm -hmm. You end up being a babysitter. So there was this one kid. I think he had. He was a little bit on the spectrum. Mm -hmm. But he was Stop. probably about my size. He's your size, kid. <laughs> he was, a, he was shorter, was, but a thick, his thick, boy was thick, thick, thick boy. Thick. Dang. Thick, thick, thick. Like, hey, no, Ruben. Oh, my God. Like, he type kid, sat in the car, suspension going down a little yeah. bit. Hey. It's a big boy. So, of course, he didn't like to run. He had a little. With me, he was good. Like, he listened, did what he was supposed to, even if he had attitude. But when it came to his mom, they were arch enemies. Oh, I mean, you, I mean they were going to fight. Like, yeah, physically. Like, fight. physically get into it. Oh, wow. So she'd be like, Coach Tank, could you tell him to just get in the car? I'd be like, I'm going to call him Jeffrey. It wasn't his name. Jeff, go, go get in the car, man. He'd just go do it, right? <laughs> so he's running. This is at a track meet. You gonna have to show. You gonna have to do it behind me. You gonna have to do the. Hold on, let me set it up. So this is the four hundred. Uh huh. That's one time around. One mm -hmm. full lap. Full one full lap. In this little age group. I don't know why. I don't know. This wasn't my idea to put him in this race. Four hundred's a long race. Four hundred's a, a, a long race for that age. It's a long, it's a long race. race. So they take it's off. Long race of, of, of course, little Jeffrey was the last one, okay? Because <laughs> he wasn't athletic. He was too big for his age. He's coming down through it, and I'm always, I was always the, I'm a coach on the football field, jogging or meeting the kids at different the, points yeah. to coach them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how you coach. Don't listen to your parents. Yeah. They don't know what the hell they talking about. Yeah, listen yeah. to me. Keep this pace. Slow it down a little bit, because you got to pick it up. This, right. So, what are you, you going to do? I'm going to do this. So, this is, so his mom then got on the, uh, football field where she ain't supposed to be. Make the mom the camera. So y'all the mama. I'm I, I'm Jeff and he's running and I'm out here his 
Go, Jack. Go. You can do it, Ezekiel. Shut up, Mom. You shut up. Just shut up. <laughs> and he's, I mean, and people are like cheering him on. You know that last kid, everybody's like, I'm a redhead. Oh, she was cheering him on. He didn't want to hear her voice. He did not like it. Shut up! Our next sponsor is Masterclass, which is one of my favorite platforms because you're getting to learn from the experts in their industry, in their craft, people who you admire. Some people you might not have known but have a wealth of knowledge that you can jump into. With Masterclass, you can learn from the world's best minds anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace. You can learn from uh, um, Elaine Witteroth on designing your career you can also learn from a chris voss and he teaches the art of negotiation or someone who i'm really getting into alexis ohanian oh yes he's going to teach you how to build your own startup now for me there are a couple of people on here that i have been following for a long time in their career and so i was shocked when i was able to see that they had a class there's someone i kind of love okay uh, you may know her as uh, Chris Jenner. She has a class on here uh, that is phenomenal to be able to understand how she was able to build the empire that she has built with her family. Now, one of the things that I absolutely love about Masterclass is that you can take it at any time, anywhere. It's not necessary to sit down and consume a full class from start to finish. You can get insights from individual lessons and you can learn in 10 minutes like it's so great you don't have to sit there and think you have to have a whole hour two hours you can learn in little chunks I personally have found that some of the classes like they have one by uh, Shonda Rhimes on writing the things that she does with talking about story and character development, like you're not going to get that just from anywhere. Only at Masterclass are you going to be able to get that type of knowledge, okay? So I highly recommend you check it out. Get unlimited access to every class. And as a The Bald and the Beautiful listener, you will get 15% off an annual membership. Go to masterclass.com slash TBTB now. That's masterclass.com slash TBTB for 15% off Masterclass. Come on, let's do it. Okay, yeah, Pearson, I'm, I'm cool with getting another Pearson, but do a tattoo. I'm not doing no tattoo. I've just decided. She said I can't. <laughs> She's like, I've just decided. One day, the right tattoo is going to come across your eye. You'll be like, now that could be I nice. need to see it on someone with, like, deeply, richly melanated skin. And so and you colors. are similar colors. Yeah, we're similar colors. We're not. So. Mal- I swear I'm she's darker than everybody on Earth. But I'm definitely Earth. 375. You're, like, 350. Maybe I'm 357. No, if you're 375, if you're 375, I'm 370. You're the index. I'm 370. Are y'all really calling out oven temperatures? I thought it was like a makeup term. That's the most red mom thing I've ever heard. Marvin, you you 200 out there. You are similar. You're keep warm. You are warm. You are. Marcus is under the oven. You know you have the stuff on. You keep. He's that first chick under preheat. Hey, you don't belong in the uh, beige boy. You don't belong in the preheat. Preheat. He said beige boy. <laughs> Fool. <laughs> Melissa, we are not that. Far. I wore your foundation. Melissa in my thinks boy. she is darker than everyone. I literally wore her foundation in the makeup did tutorial. She? she did. <laughs> my foundation will blend into your skin. And but I'm what I'm trying to say is that you can get a tattoo with color on it. You have a tattoo with color? Yes. Well, let me see. It's on my hair. Oh. <laughs> I'm not about to get a dress. Is that your only tattoo? Yeah. Oh. It's on my hip. I'm only getting one more tattoo. Did you say? What if it's good? Oh. Hey. Hey. Was that your first straight Take your time, kid. No. I, I, I had said something, and I had it in my mouth. Wait, you know what? Yeah, I've been the there. only tattoo I would get is right here. Okay. Of, like, my it. wedding anniversary. Perfect. Do it. Y'all going to be together forever? 
Come on, I'm here for that. I be thinking about tattoos. I feel like that's gonna hurt though. It's on your bones. Angel is gonna hurt. I want to get tongue life right here. Angel is the biggest peer pressure person I know. I am a peer encourager. Big difference. I encourage. I encourage experiences. I gotta get another oh, grill, y'all. They, they have great memories. TSA stole my grill. Me too. I gotta get another grill too. I've been doing Invisalign, and I don't have to get it. Is that not where you work? No, yeah, he just worked at the airport. But at a airport. different TSA. Oh, I'm like, about to be like, bro, I don't think it's you. That's not people. I don't work for the airport. He just works. We at are the remodeling the airport. <laughs> oh, airport adjacent. Yeah, got you. He be at the airport. Adjacent, uh, airport adjacent. No. Wow. It was strong. Yeah. It's so much. <laughs> it's so a lot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I be usually Marcus be drinking stuff meat. He be a drinking rock gut stuff. Stuff that <laughs> no, is just. No. I tend to drink yeah, things that are cold. Marcus be drinking it meat. No. When it's neat, you feel the flavor more. Yeah, he loves meat stuff. Well, I want to taste it. Girl, I, I thought you had some. some. I did. I started drinking the rose. I just finished it up. Listen, girl, I've been drinking that dark like that. No, I don't. Do Why not. are you going to do that, Melissa? Because I just, it's experience. Just try, try it, try now it. don't sip that because it's going to be awful. You got to just let that. Yeah, let it taste, taste like, smell like it would be good in a dessert, though. It, it does. does. It does. It does. Mm -hmm. It's brandy. You made it. You made With the peach brandy. cobbler. Yeah, that yeah. was. Ian what Jay. people mess up is when they like, take a little sip. It's, it's done. Okay, stop talking. Well, let do, do, not, it, let do, do not compare this to Ian Jay, though. That is, that's disrespectful. What's Ian Jay? Very that's disrespectful. That brand you, use. you said E&J. Why did I think of the personality trait? Because ah! <laughs> you're too intelligent. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, we got to shoot a whole nother bit. I'm oh, sorry. Hmm. <laughs> you praying? Oh, you say your grace? I had to bring, get ready. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was about to take it like a champ. And she then she You got to exhale. You got to exhale, Liz. She did it for three seconds. <laughs> You gotta yeah. exhale when you're yeah, like, like, I gotta make it go down. <laughs> right. It's a whole, it's shut up in your bones. I get it. I get it. No, it do be it be sitting right there mm -hmm. in the top of your chest. It be right there. <laughs> it's so you much. thought you was gonna blow fire. Marcus is a what did you think was gonna come? Because it helps relieve some of that heat. Yeah. <laughs> that is <oven>. no, no. <laughs> Uh, you don't sit here and drink no goddamn smooth wine and then chase it with brandy. Well, like, you had you know, me do it. She's backwards. You shouldn't do it either. You should have said something. She have said, no, you been like, first of all, you don't tell me what I can drink. I'm going to burn your side of it. You got a brandy chaser. Right? <laughs> yeah. Drink some water, wine, yeah. and I'm going to finish it off with brandy. I need some like You need to go the other way around. I need to cook some ice. I want that to Marcus, that thing was going down like a pinball. It did happen in slow motion. She was like, this is Denzel training. She was. You got a chocolate. You're going to look like Cleo. You said it all. Day after day. Yes. Seems like I was so good. Why do y'all keep doing it? I can't believe we got something else to report. Oh, my goodness. You guys. We need to have Mukmong Mondays and do this on a separate day. Oh, no, no. A separate day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We really didn't talk about much about that too. I don't think we're gonna be the mukbang gonna be like twenty two percent of the title is gonna be what we actually talk about. Yeah. I mean, just be Bruh. surprised. Whoa! Hey, hey. <laughs> ah, the brand is coming back. I, I was like, that gotta be the Ciroc. The way it's coming out, it's coming out the other way. I didn't even know that was happening. It's so hot. Was hot. Sorry. It's not your skirt. <laughs> I, I usually know it's coming. I'm a slapper. God, <laughs> I can say stop. Stop. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Diddy. Sponsor us. Yes. yes. We will drink this proudly, Diddy. Yes, we Everybody will. Everybody going on and on about your vodka. I'm about that brandy. I didn't even know you had it till, till Marcus showed me. Diddy, listen to me, Kevin. Listen to me, Kevin. Um, to my but playlist. the theater people aren't my people. Even though I am a theater person, mm. they aren't my people. A lot of them don't have similar life experiences. So I only had, while I, got, I definitely say I had genuine friendships with all of them, there was only one theater person there that had sim similar experiences to me, and that was Wendell. Mm. So he was the friend that like I stayed very close to graduating out of. He was in your class? He was the year ahead of me. 
Oh, okay, got it. Um, graduating out of, and so me and him, his friendship was close then, but it became closer once we came up to LA because we were both navigating it. Like he's the one who helped me pick out the terrible apartment that me and Marcus lived in. We <laughs> neither one of us noticed there was only one drawer in the kitchen. The entire kitchen, one <laughs> one drawer. Drawer. When we got ready. So to wait, when Marcus got here, you already had the apartment. Yes. So yeah, Marcus was calling me. Point seven seconds. Yeah, no, she was calling me. It was like, all right, I'm going apartment hunting and looking for this, this, and that. She was like, take pictures and just let me know about the place. She was like, yeah, I found one. Me and Wendy, we went and looked at it. Because it was a price range. Because he was, I knew he was going to be culture shocked. Oh, he wait, had a house. Paul, for, we're not going to go through the whole story. No, nah, no, nah, we want to know the whole story. We, we developing our friendship. I need to know the whole thing. What color socks did you have on when you started? <laughs> white. They were always white. <laughs> Nothing better than a clean pair of white hands. <laughs> white hands. Uh, no, so I was renting a renting a house down the street from my parents, which parents live in a very nice neighborhood. The lady, luckily, that's rich my dad. Marcus, that's, wow. that's mm -hmm. his experience. Their parents made bad decisions, and they. <laughs> that's true. That's a hundred percent wrong. You don't want to say. Hey, yours too. Listen, uh, when Andy say you can swap, ain't no swindle. <laughs> uh, um, no, my uh, parents knew the lady. This lady, she was going uh, to work in Washington for like a year, year and a half, and she. DC State. DC, mm -hmm. and she um, was looking for somebody to rent her house. And she couldn't find anybody mm. that she trusted. So then my uh, my dad told her like, "Hey, my son's looking for a place or whatever." She and she was like, "Okay, I'll get, just get him to house sit." Because first she gave me a price, and I'm like, "I can't afford that." Yeah. She was like, "Who was you gonna get your apartment for?" Because I'd already gotten approved for an apartment. She was like, "That's what I charge you. You just take care of my house." What? On the come up. Oh, this right? this helped to it make was you a, hate LA. Yeah. No. Yeah. You still it was thinking in about that? I came in. I said, "Oh, you got some water damage. I fixed that for." <laughs> I was having parties. <laughs> Daddy was like, don't be having no parties. Ain't got nothing to do with you. I got a contract with her. Three bedroom, three bath, two car garage. The, just No backyard it. neighbor. It was, was a like farm behind me. You was living, living. It was a farm behind me. Horses would come up to the fence. Really? Huh? What'd you say? Oh, no, I thought you said the price. That's why I was like. Uh, oh, no. The, when you hear the price, you'll die. Uh, yeah. I Apartment was, out here that we would get, we got was 1200 It was 1200 right. for our two month. bedroom, two bath with a loft okay. and roaches. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody, everybody that lived out Roach here came to our apartment. Standard issue in LA, by the way. Standard issue. Roach. Uh, everybody that came to their apartment that was so impressed that lived out here. Oh my God! I'm like, this is filthy. <laughs> I was, was renting that house for four ninety five a month. On the floor. <laughs> the <laughs> fact that you moved here, you loved Angel. Oh yeah, he did. Because you came for almost just, three times. Yeah. Kev. Two and a third. I resent Ooh. Angel. <laughs> no, I wake up in the morning, I open my eyes, and I just smirk. No, he don't, because he's sitting here doing this. this is like, <laughs> he knows the come up was the come up. <laughs> yeah. The one thing, we're leaving our kids here in Kentucky for this summer. The one Ooh, thing it almost that, fell through, y'all. I was so depressed yesterday. It almost fell through. It's still not fully, fully solid. We got a babysitter today. It's looking better than yesterday. And we just got to get transportation. Hopefully his mama can we take it there. We can get transportation. There. Um, but one thing that I know is going to be different is how they eat out here because the way California food and Kentucky food, very different. Yeah, yeah. my mama's cooking. But wait a minute, but wait a minute, but wait a minute. What's going to be great is that since we don't have to cook for the kids, me and you can do Hello Fresh. Yes. <laughs> Hey man, y'all kiss my. Fuck the swat. I, I saw the I saw the thing, so I knew to be quiet. When, when she touched my arm, I was like, I did it again. <laughs> I've been telling you, this is the drawback of them being so smooth. It sounds like regular conversation. Yes. They talk on switching into stuff that makes sense to what we talk. Can you just say no a word from our sponsor? Why you over here crying? Marcus C looked over to the distance. He was like, I did it. Let me tell you about Kentucky food. No, no, no. My mother, the wait. Nah, let me get this in right now. My mama likes Hello Fresh. <laughs> Listen, you want to tell them about Hello? Oh, she no, she laughing too hard. Hello. Fresh. Let me tell you, when your man wants to look sharp for an event, especially when your friends are celebrities and they get married and you don't want to be in pictures and look all sloppy, all right? Where you need to go, where you and your boo need to go is the black tux, all right? Now, not to get all parental, but it's time that we have the talk. You know, the one with the three-letter word that ends in X. 
Yeah, yeah. You'll probably experience it a few times in your lifetime. Now, I'm not talking about that one. Get your, get your mind out the gutter. I'm talking about a tux, and when you need a tux, the best place to go is the Black Tux. The Black Tux makes it super easy to get an on-trend, top-quality, guaranteed-to-fit tux without ever leaving your house. Here's how it works. Take the Black Tux fit, fit quiz, pick the style you want to rock, and boom, your tux is delivered to your door in 10 days bef- before the day you need it. That's plenty of time to try it on and make sure it wears uh, it wears you well, okay? And, hey, if the fit isn't quite right, say hello to the Black Tux Fit Guarantee. Order a better size within a day or two of receiving the less than great fitting one, and they'll send you another one right away at no extra cost. And if you prefer an in-store experience, the Black Tux has showrooms across the country. Their ex- expert fit specialists will help you find the perfect tux style or suit and make sure it fits just right. So my best friend, Brisha, she got married recently and it was a black tie affair. But we don't have just tuxes sitting around the house. So we were able to pick out the style for Marcus. Actually, the the tux that he ended up getting fit perfectly. But what made us feel great is that there's actually a showroom near us in Glendale. So we knew regardless, we were going to be able to get a classy tux for him for this whole event without it uh First of all, breaking our account or making us go through hell and high water to find one. The Black Tux made it possible. Rent or buy, the Black Tux is the perfect place to go when you need a tuxedo for a wedding or a special night. And right now, when you go to blacktux.com slash TBTB and use code TBTB, you'll save 10%. That's T-H-E-B-L-A-C-K-T-U-X dot com slash TBTB. Code TBTB to save 10%. The Black Tux dot com slash tbtb code tbtb and then next up we have our next sponsor so these people's restaurant burnt down all right then the daughter takes over the restaurant she finds out that her mother may have set the restaurant on fire on purpose she doesn't know who to trust should she trust her uncle Sven? should she trust her old high school flame joe and what about the company that's her major competition right edwina she's something like a she got an attitude she seems sneaky and then they lost the mama's cat marshmallow they trying to find marshmallow what am i talking about i am talking about trail mix game and it's called love and pies when i tell you the storyline has you up in there as you are trying to rebuild this cafe that burnt down to help this family out it is so good because you know what mobile games are a fun way to pass time especially when they have charming graphics laid back gameplay and a full story of scandalous secrets (laughs) It's uh, for the perfectly cozy game. You can download Love and Pies by Trail Mix Games for free. And it's a casual merge two game where you can build your very own cafe, combine ingredients, and uncover a story of drama and romance. I absolutely love this game. As someone who doesn't get a lot of downtime, when I just want to like relax and unwind and do something that doesn't stress me out, This is my go-to game. And like I said, it's free to download, so you can have an awesome time. And it's kind of like as you serve the customers, you're able to, like, really strategically figure out how am I going to get this customer this drink or how am I going to get this customer this pie. It's so much fun. Also, as you play uh, and help out Amelia take over the cafe, you're able to restore it to its former glory. And you can decorate the cafe and the surrounding areas with beautiful design items. Okay, so with Trail Mix Games, you are able to get a nice snackable game that nourishes the heart. They aim to create safe, empowering spaces for players of all ages. With each beautiful game they create, they f- they're they fostering a culture of trust, respect, and creativity. For a tasty mix of love and drama, download Love and Pies for free today. That's Love and Pies, free to download in the App Store or Google Play. So <clears throat> having a tiny washing machine sucks when you have little kids. Having to go to the laundromat to wash um, like covers and stuff sucked. Everybody cooking 
for whatever reason in this apartment complex, it, you know how LA is all garden style? Yeah. Everybody would be you cooking with the everybody. window. Oh. And it's so many different cultures. So, so many different, different cultures. Your nose is like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, it was like Armenian people, Mexican people, black fried chicken hummus, tamales. <laughs> everybody was like, hey, six o'clock, let's cook. Yeah. All Same in time. the complex. So as soon as you come up from the underground parking, you just smell yeah. food from all across the globe. Uh-huh. In addition, boys are loud and we stayed. It was the first time we had neighbors in their life yes. under us. And, and they were not happy. Because mm, Jay and Joe were still like, oh, no, you want to run? You want to rip and run? Yeah. Let's jump. bounce instead. <laughs> they used to be like. Yes, they to us. We're like kids. <laughs> so from there, you all moved to the house? They moved to the house. How long were y'all at the apartment? One year. Oh, that was a quick transition. One year, yeah. We was like, we need, I need, I need something else. And also the thing that's just so small but so annoying, carrying groceries from an underground parking thing yes. upstairs or up the, up the stairs. Yes, God. Every time you do it, you just be like, no, I, I need, I need to be able God. to walk. I'll leave these groceries in here. Until <laughs> yes, yeah. let them spoil. Like, I will try that to drive, was the I thing. will drive up these steps. <laughs> <laughs> that was the thing that was like you I've never thought about it until you had to do it like you just appreciate it at our Washington house driveway was 12 paces yeah. to the front door this was up the stairs around right. the corner yeah. all, all the way around. around you need your key to even do the it's, walk and you need your key stuck. no Instacart you cannot have somebody bring it to you yeah. that's not happening um so Instacart moved, wasn't even a thing then Instacart yeah. wasn't even a thing. thing we moved to our first house house in the see the and it was great. We had a pool. I know. I was like, y'all set it out. We, pool? Them boys. We didn't want the pool. But it just came with it. Them, <laughs> Isaiah and Josiah, that <laughs> first summer, the pool, no. they wore that pool out. They didn't even wear clothes. They would wear, sw- Melissa got them like four or five pairs of swim trunks. They'd wear a pair of swim trunks, put them in the dirty clothes, grab another pair. Of swim- That's all they wore for clothes. Wow. It's just swimming for a whole summer, all three months, they swam every day. After that, never swam again. Unless they're cousins were in town. It's cold. It's but cold. that house had every bug ever. <laughs> I feel like somebody might have been murdered there. The boy she said, are we in the wilderness? We <laughs> had roaches. We had a beehive <laughs> stuck inside of the house. <laughs> yes. Or, 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 yes. Probably like three summers three, in a row. It was like, why are bees? Y'all need it Fernando. Fernando they used to come out and do whatever they were going to do in the very next summer. It would be bad. Same Bees spot. would it's come out spot. of the light fixtures. We had a bird's nest inside of the, uh, where you wash clothes and it comes out that pipe yep, yep. or the whatever. Vent. The vent, thank yeah. you. I'm like, the pipe, whatever it is, the <laughs> vent. It was a whole entire bird's nest there. It backed it all the way up. We had to have the Terminex people come down. They was like, oh, y'all got German roaches. These ones are hard to kill. It's going to take, take a long what? time. When they come out and name the species of yeah. I'm like, just. Because I'm like, we know we ain't dirty. We right. just moved right. in and there was right. roaches. I'm like, bro, we ain't never had no yeah. roaches. And it was like, this house was uninhabited because it was cheap for a long it time. And we knew it was cheap because, you know, they can only raise the rent so much yeah. per lease thing. So we had been like, when we're out of this house, we would go to look for a new place. It's and the so rent would be fifteen thousand or fifteen hundred dollars more, and the place would yeah. be smaller. So like, was somebody murdered here? I <laughs> Why was so you know, but thirty, forty-five days, whatever. They'd be like, "Are you going to move here? Are you going to stay? Are you going to move?" And I would be like, "We move in this our official notice. We finna be up out of here." A B fifteen days. Before. Can I reset? <laughs> Actually, I'm back. As you just we said, backtrack, just backtrack. Can I? The uh, on bathroom. Angel and Marcus. Peach tub. Oh yeah, that's definitely a very valley type of thing. Peach, peach and white marble. Peach, peach and mint green. That's the two uh, colors. Oh, it was the peach. worst. It was mint green on the other side. It was mint green <laughs> on the other side. It would not drain right ever no. yeah. in the history of ever. It just we called them people. I don't even know how many times. Could not get it to drain right. Then the tub starts seeping. It was a hole in the wall. It was just like yes. Yeah, so people would come out telling us that they was fixing it. They were making it worse. No. So by the end of it, there was a hole, a huge hole in the by the tub on the wall. There was just a hole, and every time they would be like, "So what happens is the floor, right? It's like this, and so it comes out." And I'm like, "But if I've been here for six years, haven't the floor always been like that? So why did it just start leaking?" Right. Here's what right. would happen. This is wow. why me and Melissa were like, "Y'all trying to drive, drive us crazy." <laughs> the bathroom floor, when you take a shower, the bathroom floor would be dry. 
the carpet on the outside into the master floor would be soaking wet, oh, right? No. Wow. So what was happening is oh, there was a no. leak through the tub. Yeah. It's draining on, on the outside, outside of the tub yeah. and pulling under the carpet. So when they would come in, they'd be like, "Oh, you're leaving your shower head up." We're this like, way, and "Negro!" Inside of the sh inside of the bathroom, and then seeping the, out to the, the room. That's the drain gasket that was leaking. It was the, the and I ain't handy, so I couldn't tell them. That's why there was a hole there because they stay staying back there trying to find out what was going on. This and then is, Melissa was just like, "I'm still gonna be taking a shower in here. I'm just not gonna do anything else." So we have a hole in the bathroom for like the last year. Covered up with thick garbage, uh, uh garbage yeah. bags. I just can't. This is so hard to believe because y'all are so lux. The both of you. No, no, that, that's why when we left, I'm not going no, back that's to why that. Why it's on overdrive right now? Because we stayed in that house probably three years longer than we had to. How long were y'all there? Six, Six years. years. Oh wow. Yeah, Six that's, years. Why, that's why they in Lux Overdrive. It and that like, house wow. was falling apart from the first. Twenty-four day. karat toilets is what I piss in. <laughs> that's it. And the poop gets thing, a different toilet. <laughs> when we uh, moved out, we went back to clean it. Some homeless people were squatting there. They were. There was tampons <laughs> in the back bathroom. They stole the garage. Cigarettes. Door. They stole the garage <laughs> opener. It probably was Angel and them looking at the how Angel looked at the code. Uh -huh. They came and got the code. It was like ain't nobody because we had left for like three months left on the lease because uh -huh. we were buying our house. They was in there like, oh, this is fantastic. Living there, leaving clothes, food bag. It was like somebody that came and lived in the home. It looked like it. it I'm like, was that the house we looked at? It was the house before we bought our first house. That was the house we looked at. We were like, all right, we, we can do this. We can get it fumigated. I mean, there were roaches. <laughs> right. <laughs> Skateboard like, roaches, rock, that's what I call them. No, you for put real. your foot on it. We in the house and, and, just, and you can hear go. what? You, you, we were in the house, you can hear. I was like, like, that was another thing of this house so, at night. Creatures in the night <laughs> would run across the roof. Ain't, oh, sorry, baby. That's squirrel. Ain't no, I, I figured it was squirrels later. It took <laughs> yeah. about a year No, it takes a while to figure out. Like, I said, a man is here in a camera. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Two o'clock in the morning. What is squirrels doing out at night? Coming yeah. in late from the juke joint. <laughs> <laughs> we had we, the house that we were talking about getting. I was like, I can't believe we considered it because we was like, we just have to rip out all the carpet. It looked like they had been fighting Y'all like, like a good like project. Not yeah, no more. We don't yeah, want nah, it. Not no more. It's what be it in our like price they, range. It looked like they were, they were cockfighting. Oh, you know, absolutely. Like roosters and pit bulls it, and all that. It would look like murder scenes. Like, oh no, this is bled on the wall. This is where the mafia slaughters <laughs> bodies. They just don't put down plastic. And then you come into a room, you would see the dead roaches. I almost can deal better with a live roach. With a dead roach, I'm yeah. like, who what came killed it? And why didn't you take Let it me out? Tell y'all what else we have. Usually, if you <laughs> kill a roach, if you're not a human, you eat it. Right. 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 Not, nothing right. eats roaches. Something about our house in that neighborhood. It was cat fights. <laughs> Cats would meet up in our backyard and square up. Oh, that's what they did. What are y'all meeting here for for the fight club? <laughs> the most wicked sounds. Meet me at the Frederick's. <laughs> It's on. Y'all oh, don't know what's, what's up? Dude. Pull up the receiver. It's going <laughs> 2 o'clock in the morning. See me in there in Kevin in the backyard. We were literally here. Bring down. Dude, we were literally Bro, walk out. Bro, it was wild. Bro. Dude, it would be these massive balls of cat fur. Just like tumbleweed going like, yeah, that was a, they, we that had was a, a battle. Cinder, we had a cinder block on one side, and they would literally balance and fight on that cinder block. A <laughs> cinder block, cinder block wow. <laughs> I'm like, oh, going crazy. he getting stumped in there. <laughs> I, I think they did it on purpose. I'm like, they're trying to knock one of the other cats down into the pit with our dog. Right. Oh. I'm pretty sure oh. that's the one. Oh. That, yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's yeah. Fight to the death. Yeah, yes. for real. Like, oh, kill you. meet us on the black wall after we meet, meet at the French. <laughs> right. We gonna come on. We didn't have a living tree <laughs> back there. It was terrifying. Oh, we had a bunch of We had a living tree back there. We had then a eventually we had a whole bunch of cats just in our backyard <laughs> walking through. We didn't find out until we moved that a dude, one of the neighbors was putting Feeding. cat food around the corner and they was like, man, I ain't gonna walk around. You come through that where we used to fight at? Come through that backyard, y'all go right out the over the top of the fence, go food on you right out the back. We had um, we had a peach tree in the front yard. Ah <laughs> The peaches were delicious. They were it tiny, sounds, but they were however, so juicy. The squirrels kept getting to him. They would get to him before we could get to, to where any beaches. It turned this chick into a mad woman. <laughs> she, this is Angel, literally. Open the door. <laughs> you get out of that tree, squirrel! 
<laughs> yelling at the squirrels. Because like I was watching literally the yelling at the and top could, of her like <laughs> angel. I can see them. Say we live in a cul-de-sac. Everybody say heard me. Squirrel at the end of that when you're Hard. out talking to yes. the squirrel. I was like, what? I saw them from doing? the window. It really pissed me off once I finally got a peach and I tasted how good they were. I said, "Cause the, all these squirrels been eating nah, these little the, peaches." The squirrels are assholes because they would leave the nut. They would leave the nut on the, the little seed, bank. On, on, oh, they on were the taunting y'all. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Because he literally saw me when I got. I was like, "You!" I yelled at it, and it looked at me <laughs> like, "What are you?" Are you? That train, I had to squirrel. take some steps toward I will it, and never then it ran Forget up. that. He was so like, "Angel." Move. Get out of there. She said, why don't you shoot him? Angel, I will go I'm to always ready. Like, get your gun. Shoot him. <laughs> shoot a, a squirrel with a 9 yeah. millimeter? <laughs> no, he got out of, I, Yeah, sure. But I remember. But the, yes. <laughs> rats. Now, we never had rats in our house. No. And we never had mice in our house because I would have burnt it down. But our dog was king. We had rats in the backyard. Of killing mm. rats. And one time he I thought. Got, I got home. The neighbor, uh, My neighbor called me. He's like, hey. Because he had a pellet gun. He'd be like, hey, I shot a rat. It was running off the thing. He said, I heard some rustling back there. I think your dog may have got it. I'm giving you a call because I don't want him to eat it. I'm like, he ain't going to eat it. Your dog was like, little dude. <laughs> I love so that. I got home and he had this rope that we used to play tug of war with. And I got home. I'm looking for the rat. And I'm like, okay, clearly the rat got away. But I, everything is knocked over because you can see where he was chasing. Mm, yeah. Yard furniture moved all over the place. Dumpsters was knocked over, moved. Yeah. Like the rat was gone. Like he couldn't get yeah. it. So, like normal, he goes, gets his rope, he throws it up. I'm going to pick it up. That's the rat. <laughs> he threw uh, the rat, rat up He literally the ran to me and like threw it up like catch. And I was I almost caught it in midair and I went down. I was like. I would have divorced him. <laughs> and he came in and said, I caught the rat. So. <laughs> look, here's the rat. And the rat was just, and look, the rat was just like. Uh, new rat. <laughs> the, the rat was his, his mouth open. He'd been mauled up and played with for I don't know how many hours. I was like, if I picked this rat up, I'd have got him put to sleep. <laughs> but he, he, I think he was like six rats he ended up killing. Oh, he's not a serial killer. Oh, he was, you guys he was have had dogs it. your whole marriage? Yeah. yeah. Well, I got more to tell y'all about. Don't go nowhere. We're not going to jump it back into the uh, favorite of episodes because I got to tell y'all about care of okay care of is a subscription service that ships high quality personalized vitamin supplements and powders conveniently to your door every month care of wants you to sh um wants you to give yourself some love and help you feel more balanced confident and energetic by letting them do the heavy list lifting for sustainable vitamin routines and um, each shipment comes with a customized pamphlet showing you exactly what's in your individual daily packets and why it was recommended specifically for you and your health goals. So <clears throat> I personally definitely like care of one of the reasons why is that for me, I don't feel like supplements are one size fits all. I feel like you should be able to find out where you are in your health currently and where you want to go before you begin taking any type of supplement and care of really, really takes that in, into mind. So I know that what I'm getting is not going to be the same thing that Melissa gets or that Kevin gets or that Marcus gets. It's going to be what I need. Also, the fact that they give you individualized packets, it makes it easy for you to take the stuff on the go versus having a huge bottle of supplements in your purse. You're able to just grab the vitamins that you need, put them in your purse, and skedaddle. Um, so this is what I personally recommend. I recommend that you go on ahead, jump on to over to care of, okay. Take their online quiz and have them help you find what you should be taking. All right. So for 50% off your first care of order, go to take care of.com and enter code TBTB 50. Again, go to four. Excuse me, for 50% off your first care of order, go to takecareof.com and enter code TBTB50. You won't regret it. Takecareof.com, code TBTB50. You was on that last episode and this episode. The top of this episode. And this episode. Oh, I don't know what people This is my favorite thing. Hard. It's, maybe it's just hard for them. So easy for us. Oh, I don't know what we could go through. Little did we know. You can come off a single. Little did we know, nothing even happened to you personally. 
First of all, don't call your dog a child. That's where I want to start. And I, period. Oh. and I love the dog. I got a whole ring. The dog is great. Children and dog. Not, not the, the same. same. At all. Okay. Nowhere near. And I thought she was playing at first. When she was no. like, don't call him. And then when she was talking about the story, you like, you let my child get bit. You ain't got no baby. No, she literally said that in the literally. when they were arguing. It's now bad. I feel like a bad parent because I put my child in danger. You ain't a parent. You are a parent. A parent. P A W. <laughs> you stupid. Because dogs have paws. <laughs> Don't explain it. I didn't get it, Kev. I didn't get it. I didn't Here's get the it. Thing. This is one's very clever. <laughs> parent. <laughs> but anyway, so when that man, first of all, Lisa said this, and I didn't think this until she said it, but I agreed after she told me. She was like, he didn't trust his dog because he never really let go of his dog. He Her never dog, took that dog off the leash. He, knew who was he like, was just he knew when it's old and on his last leg. He got he a great dog. Dog. in human years. Let's that dog looks like Christopher Walken. I, you know that dog is old because dogs can sense the energy of other dogs. They don't have to actually get into an altercation mm, to know. Yeah. You don't really for me like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Newton was like, what is this over here? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Newton, Newton had a walker. He said, hey, buddy, ho! Oh. Oh. Five minutes later, he was still yelling. Marcus <laughs> Angel, like, Melissa, <clears throat> I'm an evil person. Because when she was talking about that dog, and they cut to it, his eye was closed. <laughs> he was like, after, he, after he got back from the oh, vet, and oh, I was sweatshirt. I made a sound. Noodle got punched he all in the eye. In the arms of an angel. Oh, definitely. ASP. Being a a pet owner whose dog was viciously attacked by, by a, coyote. a coyote. Literally, by a coyote. Yeah. A wild animal. I just can let you know now that I would let Lottie get attacked 30 million times <laughs> if it was between her getting attacked or one of my children being attacked by anything. I'd be like, Lottie, it's your turn to go back out there. The lions are out there ready to rip you to shreds. Like, I... Here, go on. <laughs> no. Here, little Yodi. Stay away from my babies. No. <laughs> I'm not saying that she didn't have a right to be upset absolutely. that it happened. Yeah, no, absolutely. I'm not saying that, like, um, she didn't have a right to be a little pissed off at him for being overly confident that it was he lied for them. He lied. He lied. Like, he... Not only did he lie, he misrepresented. He was like, she has never, d- I am flabbergasted. And then when he was way past the cow, she'd have been in a bunch of fights. She's in a gang. She's a crib. <laughs> she uh, <laughs> she been, she been she bloody. Been, in, right. You know, she she, she, she uh, murked a bunch of people. She's she done a bark dog. by. He <laughs> knew the moment. And, and, and pull uh, vacation braids. I can't think of her name. She is go go. Uh, I'm about to say Lottie. Go Newton, whatever his name is. Go have fun. Go play. And he was holding on that dog like this. Just you so knew. Was part of this thing, and it's not funny, but he was funny. He was <laughs> after his dog bit the dog. He like he wasn't even. He dead. said nothing happened. He wasn't even. And then the dog's eye bleed. He got a little eye blood. <laughs> his eye blood. He was a little smirking smelly. a little bit. He, he was, was laughing a little bit. Yeah, the, he gonna put on the is, bad is, dog. This ain't even the dog. It's the, they introduced them dogs wrong. You don't, you don't bring a dog into another dog space. When Danny brought her dog over, I took both dogs on. First, I had to let her dog know that I was in charge, mm-hmm. and I took both What'd dogs do? together on a well, walk. Here, black. No, I just walked him and make sure I took leave. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. those dogs are very loyal, so I understood him wanting to be with her. Anyway, took them, walked them both down the street, let them sit beside each other, made sure everything was good, walked them back, made sure I stayed in front. They just let the dogs they in the like, That huh. was their fault. They, two, somebody brought that. it. The, 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 oh, go ahead. Oh, baby, second part is, I, this is one reason. I say it all the time. I like dogs. I hate dog people for yeah. this reason. She's one yeah. of them. When they always, and she's a perfect example. When they talk about, this is not a dog, it's my baby. One day, you plan to bury that dog. That dog to. is going to die before you. Yeah. It's going to have a lifespan of, at the most, probably about 15, 16 years, depending on the breed. The dog is going to die. You're going to get over it. You're going to get another god dang dog. <laughs> right. Your children are supposed to bury you. Yes. Okay? <laughs> Stop with this crap talking about that's your baby. It's kind of like a real baby. It ain't. It's, it's no fair. It has a limited lifespan. No, no, let it be a real humans. baby. And you get go to the hospital. Have the dog drive and pick <laughs> yeah, you up. Exactly. Pick up some medicine. Absolutely. Have the yeah, dog have... change your diaper. No, no. That's your child. Yeah. You don't have no kids. They, have they, that dog go and give you a grandbaby that can pick you I, up. I understand. I get emotionally attached to the animals, too. My dog died. I had to get him put to sleep. He got old. I was in that parking lot for about an hour, snotting and crying into oh, my mask. Be me. Broke down. I love to see my The next cry. hour, I was at home Mine drinking bourbon. Cry like, <laughs> bullets. <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> that, that, 
that, that old grief, fashioned. That grief didn't last past the day. Some people mourn for years over. That means you ain't experienced nothing tragic in your life for real. Mm-hmm. Because them animals got a very short, like, get over it. Stop doing this crap. All right? Little Nugget, whatever his name is, he good. He's laying on the lap, looking around, blinking with half one eye closed. He's good. He don't care. He would do the same thing. He would walk right by that dog again. What? We are the most disrespectful Merit at First Sight reviewer podcast. No, this shut is, up. This nugget. season, no, nugget we don't care about nothing. Nugget. Uh, nugget. nugget is old. No, Listen, nugget, nugget is 98. Nugget, nugget got about four hear. more episodes. Nugget was, was oh, Benjamin. He's going to be in the after party Dude. in the sky. Oh, nugget yeah. got handed down from, from Benjamin Franklin's uh, bloodline. Like, that boy is old, but old. after party nugget. in the sky is hilarious. <laughs> nugget, I mean, shit. <laughs> Newton is very oh, Newton. old. He is so old. I'll be calling the dog Nugget. Like, that's his name. Mark is the I'm sorry. That. What I was like, dog? I, 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 I can't burns me up, <laughs> man. Somebody in the comments brought up, and I cannot forget to bring this up, that Justin tried to be like, the other fights that Mia had been in, that was, the, dog, no, the dogs provoked it. Like, the dogs was like, you big ass <laughs> Yeah. Your daddy's a <laughs> too. Oh, tall ass <laughs> Yeah, and your mama. I heard the tree was tree weak, they said. Yeah. <laughs> he was Dude, acting just like a parent of yeah. a bad kid. Yes, a bad ass child. It's, you know what? Yeah, they don't understand. It, it, it's he has at. triggers, and they provoke those triggers. We this, told them. This is why I'm at. Take your parents and your dog. If somebody's going to kill one, which one are you picking to die? Right. That's how you know if your dog is a dog or a child. <laughs> they gonna be in the you after party in the and sky. Was like, I'll give this dog away for you. Hold up. And then, <laughs> but then he backpedaled. He was but like, "That's was not like, gonna be an easy decision." Uh, what do you to make? mean it's not gonna be? Oh, so he said, can't pick his dog over you, but you can pick his, your dog she over him. The decision has been made. <laughs> said the same thing. The I'm has so been confused. Made. I'm like, <laughs> Nuggets' days are numbered. <laughs> Like he got they maybe a couple more weeks. Party in the sky. Give, <laughs> give him six months. Maya's still good and young. She got Nugget some years. Nugget ain't in making it to Nugget decision day. Maya yeah, went to jail <laughs> before decision day. Nugget, Nugget might be out of here. The, oh, the, he the got, decision has been made. He on gonna Nugget's be in judgment day. Yes, that's exactly where boy. <laughs> Nugget is old. Why you gonna train him? box out and bury him because he he ain't gonna make Nugget it. Nugget is old. She took that dog to training. It was outside. That was the guy that was training. Oh, that was that. <laughs> no, was. that was one of the facilities. Uh, that for, thing for like red, red red line dogs. Yeah. Like <laughs> she, was, she was in she was in that, that was lock up. <laughs> but Nugget Rob. got a rap sheet. Not Nugget. Mia got a rap sheet. Maya. Maya. Mia X. That's, That's what it is. <laughs> Mia X and Nugget. Yes. They Maya gonna do a confession. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be out. You only do two smoking. days anyway. The day you, know, you go in and the day you come out, free the real. And, and this is how in the dogs I am. When I noticed the dog uh Mia oh X's God. energy when he took her into the site, how she wasn't acting aggressive she towards the dogs. Oh that lets God. me know they put them dogs in a bad situation. Oh yeah. my God. Like she wasn't like the, you know, the back, the yeah, hair on the yeah. back revving up. She wasn't looking at another. She wasn't paying no attention. <laughs> she well, wasn't. She'd Justin been in jail a, before. This Justin is, like is a terrible time. owner. It's yes, what, is. It's, that's all that there is to it. Justin oh, is a. Listen, she probably Daddy's one of the people dog, that put her dog in a stroller. The, uh, Daddy's dog attacked a lot. I was just like, oh, well. <laughs> over, a, over a lamb bone. That's what dogs do. Oh, well. That's my bone. Mean, snarling at me. When I try to uh, move Marty it. is oh, a ain't. white child. Yes, he is. I hate you, Dad. Then he takes shits while you're looking at him. Right on your carpet. Mine's he's smiling at you. He's throwing uh, at Kev. That's a problem. Is it? <laughs> yeah, oh, yes. I'm going to take him on Dr. Phil. Because you. <laughs> he said Dr. Phil. You, <laughs> you take him to it. I told tell you, I say it all the time. Monty does not respect you, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> You don't think so? <laughs> he definitely don't if he snarled at you. That was his food. He smokes in the house. Uh, he, yes. He does. <laughs> he, he smokes does. in the house, I said. Monty is white, though. He's going to have another dog, a female dog in there. That you can be like, in hey, your bed. In. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Kevin. Yeah, close the door. <laughs> Stop calling me that. <laughs> Start building better habits for healthier and long-term results. Sign up for your trial today at noom.clam. Sign <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Start building better help it. <laughs> okay. Start building better habits for healthier long term results. Sign up for your trial at noom dot slash. <clears throat> Hold on. <laughs> Stop. 
start start, start building Beverly <laughs> Hammond. Hold on. Is this is this live? Is this live? Okay. <laughs> start building better <laughs> habits for healthier long-term results. Sign up for your trial at noom.com slash tbtv. Okay. That's n-o-o-m dot com slash tbtv. Right. That was the ad. All right. <laughs> We're going to have to